Well, 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 look what the quarantine brought up. Ah, yes, haven't done a replay video in quite a while. And uh, let me just enlarge the minimap, not like this. Like, eh, perfect, perfect. And uh, how I got to this replay was quite a coincidence, actually. Uh, I was minding my own business at home, you know, not going out, trying to obey by the laws and everything by the government. Staying inside, you know, not spreading it, whatever. And uh, I stumbled, I went on the forums, the World of Tanks forums. Yes, I know, I was that bored. And I saw this little kid crying in the corner in the thread and uh, decided to take a peek at this replay. I didn't even bother uh, checking what he wrote because when you open a thread that's that the title is already something about crying, eh, you just try to pass it, I mean ignore it. But I did check the replay, I did download it and I checked it a little bit later on and I, and I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it. It's just one of those videos about... Uh, you know about how World of Tanks is such a fun game and how everybody loves each other, how everything is uh, fluffy, uh, filled with roses and uh, you pen every shot and there are no stupid tanks in the game, you know. Uh, you know, those kinds of situations. Well, it's just, it, this replay was is from Tommy Gunhu. Gunhu! And he's playing the front line. That is one of the game modes that I hate, I personally not play it. I think I played under 10 games in total in every front line so far. I just don't like it. It's extremely boring for me. I know a lot of people like it. I know that a lot of people play tier 8 premiums without any kind of premium mana and earn a shit ton of credits. I know that. I know that the rewards in the end are also worth it for those that play it. Personally, I just personally don't like it. I hate it. It is extremely boring for me. And I don't know, it's just, that's just my opinion, and I don't play it. It's easy as that. I don't like it, I don't play it. Easy peasy. I prefer randoms with platoon mates, or maybe some advances or something. But platoons, in general, are the go-to for me in this tank. Now, he, he died in the STA-2, I think it was the first tank that he picked. Pretty much from the get-go, he went into the cap circle like a brave soldier and just died like a bot. He went the same position with his uh, Lorraine and died again, you know, because... Uh, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. Fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me, right? Well, shame on him. And uh, he died with the Lorraine. And this is where the fun begins, he said. Let's hold the control key, he said. I'm sick of these people who played this game. I mean, you're also playing this game, so... Are you sick of yourself as well? Uh, it's just one of those cases where uh, people grind too much or play too much uh, World of Tanks. Alright, we're going to skip 1 minute and 15 till his next vehicle arrives in this shit mode. <laughs> and then we're gonna see where that takes us. Alright, let's go forward 1 minute. Okie dokie, our brave warrior is going to get his next tank. Which tank is it going to be? Nobody knows. He is going for the M46 Patton Korea. An excellent choice. Let's just leave it at that. It's a beautiful tank. I personally enjoyed, my, enjoyed mine. I got it from my brother as a present. Thank you, brother, again. But that was years ago. And let's check out our brave soldier. What he is going to do next. You know, there are... Uh, uh, countdowns on when you can pick your next tank. You can, I think, you can pick three tanks. Yeah. And uh, if you die too fast, then well, you're going to wait. And uh, our brave warrior is going the same way for the third time. Maybe this time he will succeed. Maybe this time he'll going. He's going to finish them all. Or maybe he's just going to cap it. You know. Still, kudos to him for actually going into the cap so stubbornly and trying to get the cap. Uh, to advance into the next sector of the map. So yeah, there is there's his, his, his English. There is his first shell from the Patton Korea going into this 112. I think that he's dead. And yeah, our Patton Korea, Tommy Gunho, is going into the circle again, getting hit by the IS-3. 
And there he is. I think this is where you have to pay attention to his gameplay. Uh, he is going to cap this circle. Okay, well, first he's gonna get airstrike by uh, the enemy because you have those perks if you don't know. If you're, if you're not familiar with Frontline, then, uh, well, join the club. I'm not sure as well. I know you have certain perks, you have artillery strikes and shit like that, but uh, we're not gonna discuss the game mode here. This is all about this excellent gameplay. Now, watch this M41 Bulldog trying to squeeze into him, almost pulling a QB maneuver. Meanwhile, Tommy is pulling a reverse. He just pulled a reverse Uno card. The M41 is not satisfied with his reverse QB maneuver and um, they're sitting comfortably behind this rock. I think there's enough space for everybody to cuddle. He's going to cuddle with him some more and they capture. They capture. Good job. So they got two more minutes. He achieved rank of the sergeant. He's a sergeant now and uh, he's going to Put some shots into this Canavaran. Carnavaravaran. I have still no idea how to pronounce it. And look, here is the Burasque. I also don't know how to pronounce this name. The tier 8 French. He bumped into him. Now he went right. You see, he's pushing the Burasque. Both of these guys are idiots. One driving in the other like that. And the other, uh, you know. It, did these things happen? This is nothing to be upset about. I mean, Jesus Christ. He bumped into him, they go straight forward, and friction happens, and, you know, it's pretty much at the... This usually happens at the start of every random game, for me, almost every game. You bump into somebody, he flips you somehow. But these two guys are going to get very personal, very fast. You see? The Buras kindly asked him, Do you like that? And Tommy responded, Are you stupid? Pulling like this. Now the Buras is going... I, I think, I hope it's pronounced like that. I'm just gonna pronounce it the way I like it. And the Buras said, Yes, like you. But Tommy kindly responded to him, Subhuman. <laughs> Alright. This is fit to write a ticket and report both of these assholes. Tommy is being an asshole for calling him subhuman. That's a big no-no. I mean, if you saw me calling someone a subhuman, I think I did. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I rage sometimes in this game via chat. I got chat banned for it. Um, I'm not participating in these kinds of conflicts in the text anymore. I tend to blacklist them if it's possible, if I'm not triggered too much. But still, if you find me that I'm being a toxic little shit, you might as well report me. I don't care. I think that would be the correct way to approach this. But look, now Tommy said something in uh, Hungarian, which I don't know, but kurva hor anyadat. That probably means your mother is a beautiful person. And then he said again, Brain the subhuman chilid. Whatever that is. And Christian responds, I think is that's his nickname in the Burask. You block me first. No hand. And then again, You walk front of me, said Tommy. <laughs> this is, this is, I'm having way more fun than I should have with these two guys. Uh, if anybody has the time in their life, I can post you the replay, uh, I, the, the link to what replays, and you can write a ticket to get these guys banned to chill the fuck out a little bit. And then Tommy said again, Inbred subhuman. So yeah, Christian here is According to Tommy, an inbred subhuman, which means that his mother and father are probably closely related. But that's only what Tommy thinks in his head. We're not sure about that kind of situation in Christian's family. But then again, you can still see that Burask is going to be a pain in the ass. A pain in Tommy's ass. And thankfully, Wargaming decided that they should remove team damage from the game. Now Tommy is getting really upset, he says Play it, the game, W, idiot And Christian 
still waiting for that sincere apology from Tommy. Said you still didn't sorry me. <laughs> Who said you can't have fun in isolation, huh? Who said you can't have fun while working from home and watching replays? I like this one, this kind response from Tommy. He said, You parent should kill you when you were a baby. <laughs> Alright, so Tommy is implying that Christian's mother and father should have opted for, for an abortion. Thankfully they didn't, because if they did, we would never get to watch this beautiful, beautiful replay of this beautiful game mode from this beautiful, toxic, free game with kind players all around. Now, Christian is still following Tommy, he's still being a pain in Tommy's behind, and uh, <laughs> I like this. I really like this. And... Uh, this is going to turn out funny if uh, Boras doesn't move. Tommy can actually drown him, right? All right, let's uh, speed this up in the game uh, using the arrow keys, and uh, let's let's put this a little bit faster. Replay speed times two. All right, he's actually going to push him in a little bit more. Let's set it on normal speed now, and. <laughs> Destroy the friendly. Tommy successfully put Christian to sleep. He simply washed his tank way too much. And um, there is also another verbal diarrhea going on. It's not between these two guys. This guy Stiglitz said, King of shit, you useless moron. <laughs> now, who is this EBR fella? Who is this EBR fella? Who could this be? <laughs> This was fast as fuck. The the speed that this guy respawned and came over here again is unbelievable. Now Tommy's saying report Christian for blocking the hole. W <laughs> I mean dude, you call him an inbred subhuman? You call that you said that his parents should have killed him when he was a baby and then you'd proceed to drown him. I know he was blocking you, but still. I like the response of the tiger too. Cry more. That's my kind of guy. That's my kind of guy. He should have said stop cry keep, but he didn't. Uh, Christian and Tommy should stop cry kid and actually focus on the game, you know. I like the defender coming in with a random press F in the chat. <laughs> I <laughs> it there, there there are other players having other issues in this game and Tommy finally gave up. I mean sometimes the best way is to just ignore them, to just back off, to breathe a little. I like to hold my right mouse button. You know you lock your turret if you're holding the right okay, mouse button and appear to be AFK while I'm looking around, you know? And the EBR is still waiting, patiently waiting to block Tommy. <laughs> and let's see if this pretending to be AFK tactic is going to work out for Tommy. And it did! Look, the EBR is going away. I would wait for a little bit more so the EBR really fucks away. And... No. The EBR is not going away. He's just circled back because he saw Tommy going forward again. And he's going to block him yet again. I think we can speed this up. He's just going to push his tank further and further on. Now the replay speed is much, much faster because let's face it, we don't want to watch five minutes of this guy pushing another guy. So yeah, let's go. There we can see... <laughs> Tommy's saying, how insecure are you? Question mark. And they're still going at it. I'm just going to forward this a little bit even more because, let's face it, this is going to take a long, long time. <laughs> All right. That was fast. I'm sorry. But Tommy threw an airstrike somewhere over the objective. 
and <laughs> he hit something he hit I think he put the airstrike on the, the objective it doesn't matter actually let's let's forward this a little I mean let's put it on faster replay speed they're still coming at it all right time speed eight replay speed eight times all right this is more like it this is our kind of jam and they're still going at it look they're still pushing each other out they're still going at it oh and look we see water maybe tommy can wash this dirty monkey again all right let's let's put it on times two and uh, why isn't the ebr running away i mean he he's like a really fast tank and he's just letting tommy push him in the water so what that's going to be his second team kill are team kills still act actual if you drown somebody on per and there we go ally christian was drowned <laughs> oh my oh my oh my oh my if anybody has the time or will in his life if anybody is remotely bored as i am currently watching this shit clown fiesta going on between these two Paralympians, uh, then please write a ticket and just I'll put the link to the replay link, uh, the replay link in the description, and you can download it yourself. And these two guys deserve a little bit of chill out, time out. Maybe they can learn how to make bread on their own because lately I have been making my own bread, so I don't go to the store that often, so I don't get infected and shit like that. Maybe they should like focus on chores at home. I don't know, va vacuum more. Maybe finally do the painting job on the balcony. I should do that as well. Thanks for reminding myself. Maybe they should, I don't know, fix that squeaky furniture. Or I don't know, maybe they should, you know, finally fix that granddad's bicycle when he was an electrician in World War II. You know, because he had those two lightning bolts on his helmet, that's how he knows he was an electrician. People that know me know that I... This this joke is getting way too old now. And uh, I don't know, just find a new hobby or something. Now Tommy went in like a madman, uh, dealt some damage to the Scorpion and some other guys. They are pretty close to actually getting to winning this game. And he is ready now. Uh, why is he not picking a tank? Nobody knows. Maybe he's, maybe he is royally triggered right now. We need to skip this part and go a little bit forward so we can see what Tommy's gonna do. Oh, oh, not sk not skipping. He took the first tank that I mean he, the the tank that he used the first time, the STA2. Yes, it was the STA2. I remembered correctly. And this is going to be just, just a casual frontline game. Maybe Tommy can uh, can work his magic and uh, maybe he can win. Who knows? Man? Who knows? Reached. It's still too far in the game. No idea why Tommy is not stopping and aiming his shots like this. Yeah, perfect, perfect. There we go. Attack and damage. Good job, Tommy. Good fucking job. Another one. Then we get one more Tommy. Come on. Nice, free for free. Tommy is on a roll. Now, now you see Tommy's potential. When the Burask is, when Christian is not blocking him anymore, you see what a gamer this guy is. He is really putting. He's really putting in the elbow grease, you know. He's really. Uh, he's just going in like a madman. This EBR, what the fuck is he going to? Come on, shoot him in the ass. Come on, not in the tracks, dum dum. Just shoot him in the ass. What's the point of tracking him when nobody's shooting ISP? Again with the track shot. Why? Tommy, Jesus Christ. Think. Think for fuck's sake. Put some oxygen in those brains and put a shell in the ISP's ass. And now he just tracks him. Tommy, please. You could have killed the ISP, but you didn't. Oh wow. Now Tommy has to wait six seconds to get his tank. I just sped his put the replay speed on times two because yeah well it's 25 seconds left and they still need to they still need to how what there's still four objectives remaining i think you need to destroy three of them and they're not going to accomplish that 
in 12 seconds. Now, that's what you get. You get blocked, you get insulted, and in, in the end, you lose. <laughs> A perfect game for Tommy, and we're not even gonna bother with the post-game stats. Have a good one, stay home and stay safe, don't be retarded and go into the shops every second day. Plan ahead and make your own goddamn bread. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Tommy and Christian are retarded by the way, but I love this replay. <laughs>